morning, our day is off to a great start. I hope yours is. I'm smiling so big because look who our first guest is today. It's kind of three. We've got Tish Gailmard. This is Winnie the Owl. And this new friend of ours is Brian Mack, who is with uh, Black Creek Community. Good to see you all three. Thank you for having us. We were just chit-chatting. The reason you saw me come out smiling so big on the air, we were talking about Chattanooga and the natural connections that happen mm -hmm. around here and the five degrees of separation, as you put it. Mm -hmm. We're all friends. Uh, we become connected pretty quickly. That's kind of what's happened, Brian, with Black Creek and Reflection Writing, right? This that's connection. Exactly. Mm -hmm. That's correct. So Black Creek uh, and Reflection Writing, we effectively bookend Lookout Valley, uh, Reflection Writing on the east side, uh, Black Creek Community on the west side. And so uh, Reflection Writing approached us about uh, becoming a partner and helping sponsor their uh, Campfire Concert Series. And uh, if you pardon the pun, we, we think it's a really natural <laughs> partnership for us, uh, uh, an opp great opportunity uh, to help kind of bring some additional visibility. If you ever want a cheerleader, just call Tish Gailmard. I mean, <laughs> she gets so excited about what she does, but you've talked about this Campfire Concert Series yeah. for a long time. Mm -hmm. You just indigenously love it. I it's mean, so fun. And, and it's just an amazing setting. And it's right. local everything. That just, to me, really hits a home run. So what, yeah, because the local everything includes mm -hmm. the musicians who will The musicians, be there. the beer, the food, the support, everything. And it takes all of that to keep y'all supported because right. it's what, 400 acres that you have? We're on about 317 acres. Okay. Yeah, and we are a community institution. We are here for this community. We want anyone and everyone to come onto our property. So we want to be open to everyone and support like this helps us do that. So this Saturday kicks off the concert series and mm -hmm. it runs through November 1st, right? Every mm -hmm. weekend. Mm -hmm. um, not, it's not every other week. It's not every weekend. It's scattered weekends. Oh. There are the dates. There you there see the it. Dates. Yep. Pay no attention to me. Listen to Tish. <laughs> uh, but it's really, it's going to make adults kind of feel like they're a kid again, right? It's because so, yeah. I mean, it's just like run and play and bring your dogs on a leash and let your kids run. And we've got little campfires. We usually, I'm telling you, if Reflection Riding has a campfire, there are s'mores on the property. And it's <laughs> so, a big fire. Yeah. Well, we have multiple small fires usually. And then we set up the band on a flat that is in our backyard with Lookout Mountain in the background. And we usually get started when the sun is setting mm -hmm. and it is spectacular. There have been several times when the band has just stopped and said, all right, everybody, let's enjoy the sunset. <laughs> right? I don't blame you. So let's talk about Winnie, and then I'm going to tie it into Black Creek. I promise you I'm going to try at least, right? <laughs> uh, but you, you bring Winnie's her often. Good. Winnie's awesome. Yeah, Winnie, Winnie's just a remarkable bird. Um, she's a little over three years old now, and, you know, we've had her since she was about nine or 11 weeks old, and she has just been a tremendous addition to our family. She's a barn or a bard? Th this is a barn, like the barn on a farm. This um, bird is actually under management concern in Tennessee and endangered in some neighboring states. So we're just really proud to have her and so glad to have her because she works all the time. The concaveness of her face, that yes. helps her here? This is her facial disc. That heart shape on her face is her she was facial hoping disc. For food. She was hoping I had yeah. some food. Um, this animal's hearing has been tested and not her particular, but the species hearing. And they hear better than any animal they can hear a mouse's heartbeat from 30 feet away. The hearing's remarkable. It's really, you can't even comprehend it. Can't tell any secrets around her. No, no secrets whispering. around Winnie. She knows everything. You have done this before, so while we've got a close-up of her, can you put your hand on her head to see how <sighs> dense she is? So, if you, let me see if I can get there. All right, so now I'm touching the back of her neck. Look at all those feathers. Wow. That's how dense and thick her feathers are. Just thousands and thousands of feathers. And this is a pretty sizable bird, and she weighs a whopping 10 ounces. Wow. <laughs> so here's the tie-in then back to you, Brian. Uh, you were sharing with me that, I mean, I'll say it. Most people don't think about Black Creek. They think about the golf community mm -hmm. or just getting a house at, at Black Creek. Mm -hmm. They don't think about the intentional planning that's gone in there. So you mentioned how you bookend Lookout Valley. Mm -hmm. Y'all have carved out a number of acres 
to preserve, right? And you bought some land for the River Gorge Trust. Uh, we actually donated, donated some land. Yeah, so mm -hmm. uh, so Black Creek, we have been around for almost 25 years. We really started as a golf club uh, and then a small golf course community. And then over the years, we've expanded quite a bit. And so, um, but in a responsible way, uh, we have over 700 families that live at Black Creek right now. Uh, we have new families moving to Black Creek every day. Most of them are from out of market. and so. Um, our motto is basically, you know, where living comes naturally. And so we mm -hmm. have a tremendous amount of uh, natural space and outdoor uh, adventure space, if you will, that is in, in folks' backyards. So we, um, as part of our development plan, we have donated currently over 600 acres to the Tennessee River Gorge Trust. Uh, the trust is actively working on building uh, public hiking and mountain biking trails. Uh, the Etna Mountain Trails opened about a year and a half ago and have been really popular. Mm -hmm. uh, they're right in the middle of Black Creek. And so as we continue, uh, we will continue to develop and donate land to uh, our partners and just partner with great organizations like Reflection Writing that help our residents get outdoors. It's so important because Tish and I will talk often on camera, sometimes off camera, <laughs> uh, about kids today and how they don't have nature at their fingertips the way we all probably grew up. And there's something you miss out on in mm -hmm. life if you don't get that. For sure. So the fact that y'all provide that at the community, the fact that you can come out to this campfire mm -hmm. series and twirl uh, on the lawn, yep, it's a great thing. Yeah, and it's so fun to see the kids running and playing. Did you ever play that game on a summer night where you would go out with the moon and you'd spin and spin and spin and spin and spin? and then lie on the ground and watch the moon go up. No, why didn't <laughs> did you do that one? You'd, well, okay, I'll have to do it now. I'll have to do it this weekend. When you don't have any money, that's a great yeah. way to have to. <laughs> <laughs> a free toy. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You'll be seeing me doing that at the campfire. Yeah, yeah. Saturday, yeah. So. well, now if y'all see me out there spinning around, you'll know why. Um, if she was able to eat, what would she be eating? Mice. That's what I, I didn't bring them specifically for you. There was one time on the air Tish was here and she just was not thinking about being on television and I looked over and was it Winnie or somebody? I can't remember who it was. Was having a nice little time with a real piece of meat oh. and it was a shock. Well, I think it's the only time I was ever. You, yes, you were like, oh, oh, so I don't bring it anymore. It's in yeah. the car. I'll feed her shortly. And I will ask you this too, because I have the time sure. to ask it. Um, if people are looking to move, uh, and around here. Can they come to Black Creek and just drive around and kind of or to make an appointment to kind of see some of these features you're talking about? Yeah, either one. I always recommend um, stopping into our Welcome Center. Mm -hmm. We've got uh, our sales managers are there seven days a week. Uh, so you can visit blackcreekliving.com uh, and put your information in there and, and mm -hmm. request an appointment. We're happy to show you around and kind of talk to you about mm -hmm. everything we're building and about what we feel is important about responsible development and, yeah. and kind of the future of our community. So um, it's a very easy to do, very low pressure, um, but a great opportunity to just see what's there and, and see what's, what's new. I love it. And do you recommend getting there early on Saturday? Yes, and if you are planning on coming, you better buy your ticket right now because these sell out. And we're doing something new this year where we have, I think they're calling it a season pass. So you can buy tickets for all the concert series because they've become so popular, they sell out. Okay. So if, you're, if you want a ticket, you need to do it now. All right. Mm -hmm. Thank you all so much. Thank you. So here you have it because it's sporadic, as Tish pointed out. Um, September 7th, though, this Saturday is the first one. Do they go to Reflection Writing to get the tickets? Mm hmm Okay. Mm -hmm. Reflectionwriting.org. And you can also call us at 821-1160. Thank you. Local 3 wants